to lop off the captain's professional head and you're sitting here playing chess with a computer. That is true. Mr. Spock, you're the most cold-blooded man I've ever known. I've just won my fourth game. Did Spock win against the computer fair and square? Or did he cheat? We'll find out if Spock is guilty by the end of this video. But first, let's take a quick look at Star Trek's use of tridimensional chess and see how this iconic chessboard was created. And we're starting right now. As we all know, chess has always been associated with logic and intelligence, and it's Spock's signature game. As every chess match featured in the original series involves Spock. From the beginning of the second pilot, Spock enjoyed playing chess while off duty. I'll have you checkmated your next move. Often against Captain Kirk. <laughs> but we only got to see them play two games together, with both games occurring early on in the series. Perhaps this lent to the illusion that they played more often than they did. Check. Interestingly, Kirk defeats Spock both times. Check me. Check me. Certain you don't know what irritation is? Spock obviously does. Not that he'd admit it, of course. But after that, Kirk is never seen playing chess again, and Spock himself only plays three other opponents. And each time he does, it aids us in the understanding of a character. For example, after Spock checkmates Charlie Evans in just two moves, Checkmate. we realize that the boy has a dangerous and hostile side that poses a major threat to the Enterprise crew should he become angry or frustrated. And Spock uses a game of chess to gauge how well Kirk's attempt to frustrate Rojan is working. Your game is off. Are you disturbed by the incident? Should I be disturbed? You are not jealous. No, nor upset. Certainly not. Checkmate. And when Kirk's damned by the Enterprise's computer... Who knows, you may be able to beat your next captain at chess. Kirk out. Spock plays a hunch. Chess. And beats the ship's computer several games in a row, thereby casting doubt on the prosecution's main witness. And that's it. The rest of the time, the tridimensional chessboard is only used as a background prop. But even so, it's present in virtually every rec room scene across the series. Spock, seen here dozing off at his computer, keeps a tridimensional chessboard in his quarters, as do other members of the crew. Spock's mirror universe counterpart also keeps a tridimensional chess set in his quarters. Spock versus Spock. Now wouldn't that be an interesting game to behold? Would the game end in a checkmate or a stalemate? The chessboard has its own interesting story. The three main boards were taken from the space tic-tac-toe set, while the smaller attack boards came from the space checker set, manufactured by a different company. Along with the metal base and curved frame, they gave Star Trek's tridimensional chess set its distinctive look. And chess pieces taken from these Peter Ganini chess sets added the final touch. These board games, which seemed both familiar and unfamiliar at the same time, added visual interest to the background and strengthened our connection to the 23rd century crew of the Enterprise, who still use these games as a way to pass time, keep their minds active, and form social groups. And so, back to the question at hand. Did Spock cheat while playing chess against the computer? Based on what we're shown, the answer is yes, he did. Spock moves one of his white knights, and the computer gives its counter move, Half level right. which Spock promptly ignores, skipping the computer's next move altogether. The next piece he moves is his rook. Rook to king's pawn four. The computer then repeats its previous move. Bishop, half level right. Now this is the computer's move. And Spock finally complies. And now mine. And so the fix is in. He's already set the board up to win. Checkmate. But what if he did move one of the computer pieces in between his moves? Maybe it had been edited out, in which case Spock is off the hook. Let's compare these screenshots, one taken before we cut to Spock and McCoy's close-ups and the other taken after. And as we can see, no additional moves were made and Spock looks pretty guilty. Although Spock's win against the computer was clearly intended to be straightforward and above the board, it's safe to say that if you move two of your own pieces in a row, you're probably cheating. Tridimensional chess is an iconic part of Star Trek easily recognized to this day. For anyone who'd like to own their own, a great looking replica is currently available for sale. I've included an affiliate link in the description below. One big takeaway that I'd like to leave you with is this. Even after all these years, Star Trek is still filled with surprises. To check out more, click on the video to the left right now. Thanks for watching. Until next time, live long and prosper.